All right, just a quick tutorial on utilizing the Arbiter to create, update, or delete your blocks. Um, you can start by logging into the Arbiter, um, which is www.arbitersports.com. Um, I recommend creating a favorites for this so you can get back to it really easily. Um, you sign in up at the top by using your email and your password. Um, if you are using a private computer at your house you can also use the remember me checkbox to not have to do this continuously. If you are using a public computer at your place of business or um, in a kiosk or anything else you want to leave that unchecked so the computer doesn't stay logged into your account. Um, once you've done that you want to go that gets you to the main page. Um, once you're here, you want to select your official account, which is the North Texas Basketball Official Association and the official here. That's your account. You click on that. Um, that Apologize for that. The um, That gets you to the main page. Uh, on the main page is all the announcements that's been sent out by Jason. If you'll notice, you can scroll through and that's all the important information. Um, the one thing you want to make sure on this page is right here that you are ready to be assigned. If you do not have this box checked, you will not be assigned games. Um, the assigners um, won't be able to give you games. So make sure that you're ready to be assigned. Um, and then you want to go to your block tab. On the block tab, your first option is the view schedule that will show you um, your schedule uh, on a month by month basis. It shows you if you see the legends over here, you see assigned games, um, attached, pending, full day blocks, part day blocks. Um, your second option is to block all day. Um, if you select this, you will not get a time range um, that is all day. You can then select the date and you block all day. The next portion or the next uh, function is block part day. When you block part day you will get an option to set your date range or your time range um, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you can select the date and you get a part day block. Um, you clear your blocks, um, you select clear and then you select the date that you wish to clear and it will clear your blocks. Um, you can add notes with any of your blocks um, and that screen will pop up say block all day add note uh, I blocked all day I can add a note will be traveling due to work um, it can be anything you want it just gives you a way to add a note to the block and um, keep track of things if you need to um, let's go ahead and clear that block here um, the only other thing is the date range and I use the date range to block for, for weekdays for work which my schedule is 8 to 3. Um, I can select if I look through my block dates I'm blocked out to March so we'll look at April so what I can do is go in select April it's every day Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I just do this during the week, and then apply. And in that way, I've just blocked all of April during the week. Um, you can do this for any day, any time range. You can do it for the entire season. Um, just use this date range to do that. Um, the last thing is. Um, update your blocks anytime you schedule changes. You have to travel for work, you have an illness in the family, you are going on vacation, um, anything of that note. Um, if you already have an assignment on a day that you need to subsequently block, you need to send an email to turnbacks at ntboa.org and CC the assignments team. And then if the turnback is within 24 hours of the game, you have to call and actually speak with one of the assignments teams to verify that they got the information that they have, that they understand that the game um, has to be reassigned. Um, if you do not do this, 
there's a possibility that an email will get missed um, that close to the game time and that the game will not be covered. So once again, turnbacks at ntboa.org and CC the assignments teams if you have to block a date that you have a game. And then if it's within 24 hours, you have to speak with one of the assignments teams in person to verify they got the information. And that's it. That's uh, the uh, extent of setting your blocks. Um, as I stated earlier, make sure that you keep your blocks updated. As Ryan says, handle your business. Um, if things change, you want to make sure that your blocks are updated because the assignments guys use this to assign games. And if you are not blocked and they have a turn back or have a uh, game that a coach forgot to put in the system, you conceivably could get a game during a time when you do not want to work.